All right, we are going to go through this paper, May, June 2023, paper 2, 3. Okay, we'll quickly do the entire thing very fast. After this, we will be doing on uh, the topic of the graph uh, because <clears throat> graph is one of the topics that has a lot, a lot of marks. Um, yeah, okay, so have the other paper prepared. So uh, if those of you who don't have that paper, paper prepared digitally or printed out, please faster go and print it out. Okay, as we go during our break, uh, because you need to practice to draw it if you don't have it digitally. Okay, let's go straight to uh, question one. Okay, which uh, we will be doing at least the first set. Okay, you all see, <laughs> go, go see the first set. Okay, I, I only gave you all two sets this time round. Okay, so just go print out the first set at least. If we got time to go to the second set, then we'll do the second set. Okay. The diagram has rotational symmetry of what? Okay, rotational symmetry means how many times can you rotate when you put a pencil in the middle and it looks exactly the same shape? Same shape and pattern. Huh? Okay, you only got two. Draw all lines of symmetry. Okay, since this one, there's a pattern to here. Symmetry, line of symmetry means you need to have a mirror effect. It's only this and this. Okay? Two diagonal lines, that's all. Don't go and draw this. Don't go and draw this. Huh? This one, because the shape is not a line. Okay, number two. A firm lasts two hours. Firm ends at 23.05. Find the time the firm starts. Okay, so you just minus it off. 23.05 minus 2.50. Okay, you want to use calculator to do, also can you will get 2015, okay? You borrow here, become 22, then you add 60 to the value. So here is 2015. Okay, number three, total surface area, okay? Surface area, you count each side first. Okay, so eight times three, three times five, plus eight times five, okay? Each of it has two sides. So you just... Multiply it by 2. So you get 2 times 79, which is 158. <coughs> okay, next one. Question 4. Find the value of V when U equals to 4, T equals to negative 7. Just sum it in. V equals to 4 minus 9.8 times minus 7. You get 72.6. Okay, simplify d power 8 divided by d power 2. This will be 8 minus 2 equals to d power 6. Okay, number 6. At the end of the day, a shopkeeper has 12 tins of cat food left. This is 3 over 13 of the number he had at the beginning of the day. Find the number of tins he had at the beginning of the day. Okay, this one you can just use ratio if you want. Okay, if you don't know how to write it, uh, write it in ratio first. The fraction that you want to find is 1. Okay? 12 is equivalent to 3 over 13. So you're going to convert this ratio into a fraction equation. Okay, so here, to, for me to find x, I cross multiply here. x equals to 12 divided by 3 over 13. Okay, over 3 over 13, we can write it as divide. So you get 52. Okay, if you want to write 12 times 13 over 3, also can. Question 7. Complete the table. Okay, total add up together should be equals to 1. Okay, so for me to find the empty one, we take 1 minus all the probability here. Minus 0.18, <clears throat> minus 0.25, min, uh, equals to 0 0.11. Question B, you spin the spinner once, find the spinner that lands on red or blue. Okay, red or blue, 0 0.3 and 0 0.16. Add it up, you get 0. Point Four, six. Question 8. 
Describe fully the single transformation A onto B. Okay, this is a rotation 90 degrees clockwise. Okay, 90 degrees clockwise. And then with a center. Okay, how do you find the center? It's either you use tracing paper or you draw the perpendicular bisector. Okay, zero, zero. Okay, it will meet over here. So you see here? This is where it meets. Can you want to put it in fraction? Also can. Okay, it's the same value, right? Ah, uh, so same value. You can just put it in the same same thing. Uh, what if you write origin? Uh? try not to lah, because it's not part of the answer in the mark scheme. <coughs> okay, normally we put a point uh. Okay, question nine. Calculate the average speed in kilometers per hour for Kai's journey from home to the office. Okay, so formula for speed is distance over time. Okay, look at this graph. What graph is this? This is a distance time graph. The distance is 65 km. The time that he reached was from 12 o'clock, was well, from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock, so two hours. So we write down what is required first. D is 65 km, time is two hours. Okay, so speed is equal to 65 km per two hours, which you'll get 32.5 kilometers per hour. Okay, question B, when Kai arrives at the office, he's fine, his meeting is cancelled. Okay, worst feeling ever. <laughs> he returns home at a constant speed of 50 kilometers per hour. Complete the distance time graph to show his journey home. Okay, so we need to find how long he took to get home first. Okay, so time is distance over speed. What is the distance? The distance was 65 km. The speed is 50 kilometers per hour. Okay, so the time that he took was 65 km over 50 kilometer per hour. Okay, so his final value will be in terms of hours. Huh? You calculate this, you get 1.3 hours. Okay, but what is 1.3 hours in terms of hours and minutes? You're going to take 1 hour plus 0 0.3 times 60 minutes. Okay, For you to change from hour to minutes, you multiply it by 60. So you get 1 hour and 18 minutes. Okay, So his ending time will be 13.18. Okay, He'll reach at 13.18 o'clock. So where is 13.18? We have to see uh, each box represents how much. Okay, how do we calculate the, the box? So you see here, okay, uh, I will break it down into smaller. Uh, so here I can put this is 1330. Okay, so you see over here, total you have 10 boxes here. 10 boxes is equal to 30 minutes. Okay, so one box will be equal to 30 divided by 10. Each box is 3 minutes. Okay, we need to break it down like this. Huh? We cannot just simply estimate it. Okay, we want to find 13, 18. 13, 18 means 13 plus 6 boxes. That means over here. Okay, this is 13, 18. Because 1 box 3, 6 box will be 18. So we're going to draw all the way down like this. 13, 18. Okay, next one. Without using a calculator, okay, please go take your calculator, type out the, the answer first. Okay. Show what calculation. Okay. 
you need this one you straight away type into un, uh, calculator first uh, 8 and 1 over 6 okay this is what your calculator will, will show you right okay but you need to show the proper working okay when you want to add a fraction together your denominator needs to be the same so you convert both the denominator to the same first this one 5 11 12 plus 2 3 over 12. Okay, the whole number you add up together, so you get 7 and 14 over 12. Okay, 14 over 12, you add 1, uh, so you become 8 and 2 over 12. Then you simplify it. It's then 1, 6, 8, and 1 over 6. You need to show the working to get these three marks. Okay. Question 11. Complete the Venn diagram. Okay. So we have the universal set. That means everything is all this alphabet. Okay. First thing we want to find what is common between P and Q first. Okay. So I will highlight the ones that are common. So you see here, E and E, G and G, R and R. Okay, so E, G and R, they are common. Okay, the one that are not common, we put it in the respective set. Here got A, B, and L. Okay, here got M, O, T, and Y. Okay, we see here, uh, are all the alphabets taken already? If not taken, you put it outside the set P and set Q. So what I'll do, I'll just check. Uh, okay, I'll check. A is taken. B, taken. E, in the middle. G, in the middle. L, taken. M, taken. O, taken. R, T, and Y, also taken. Okay, so all the values are already taken, so there won't be any values that are outside. Okay, of the two sets. But you need to always check it. Okay, shade the region A prime, that means not A intersect B. Okay, A prime is where? Outside of A. Okay, A prime is outside of A. B is this side. Okay, intersect means the two region. Okay, the two region. So here is the region that we want. Okay, question 11, done. Okay, question 12. The position vector of A is 5, 3, B, A is 4, A. Show that magnitude of O, B is 5.1 correct to one decimal place. Okay, three mark question. Okay, how to find O, B? That is the question. How to find OB first? Okay, position, when they say the word position vector, it means this is OA. Okay, so OA is equals to 5, 3. BA is 4, 8. They want us to find OB. Okay, what is OB? Okay. We need to know uh, this one first. When you want to create a vector <coughs> from position vectors, okay, so let's say you got BA like this. Okay, all these are vectors. Uh, you want to put the arrow also can. BA is actually OA minus OB. Okay, you have to memorize this one. Uh. You take the second, the position vector of the second alphabet, minus the position vector of the first alphabet. Okay, I repeat again. Huh? Position vector, which is the O whatever, position vector of second 
letter minus position vector of first letter. Okay, this is if you want to break it down to position vector. So like let's say if one A B means O B minus O A. Okay, remember the formula. So now we want to get O B. Okay, we want to make O B as the subject. So I just rearrange the formula right now. O B equals to O A minus B A. Okay, OA and BA we already have. Okay, fill in the blanks. OA is 5, 3. BA is 4, 8. Okay, the top and the top value minus off. The bottom and the bottom minus off with each other. So you get 1, negative 5. Okay, so this is the first thing that we need to calculate first. Position vector of B. Okay. This symbol, second part, this is called magnitude. Okay, magnitude, the formula is square root x square plus y square. You have to memorize this one. Okay, we want to prove that it's equals to 5.1, right? Okay, so the value that we calculated just now was 1 square plus negative 5 square. You get square root 26. <clears throat> okay, when they say correct to one decimal place, uh, this is what one y'all do. Y'all follow up uh, because um we want to try to follow as closely as we can with the mark scheme. Okay, so you don't round it up first. Okay, you write down the value that you calculate from your calculator first. So on your calculator, it'll give you 5.099, right? Okay, 99 something lah. Then after that, you only round it up like that. You write to 5.1. Okay? Follow this format. Don't straight away write it to 5.1. Just in case the marker is very particular. Okay, next one. Hey. Should I write wrong already? This one should be here. Okay, second one, uh, question 13. Just type in your calculator, you should get 8.03. Okay, question 14. How to do this? Write 0 0.581 as a fraction. Okay, so you can use your calculator actually to check for the answer first. Yeah, remember one of your taught me, right? 0 0.581, okay, just type out in your calculator. Your recurring decimal is what? 81, right? So you type 81, 81, 81. Just keep typing 81, 81, 81, 81. Then you press equal. Okay. This calculator can process. What does it show you? It shows you uh, 32 over 55, right? Okay. You write it at the side first. Okay. This is the outcome that we want. 32 over 55. 55. Okay, got it? Okay, uh, so, but how to do the working, you still have to do the proper working. Okay, you will let x equals to 0 0.581, 8 and 1 recurring. Okay, your goal is to eliminate the recurring decimal. So, you need to come up with two values. Uh, so, the first one, you multiply it by 10. Okay, so you see your first digit here. Your 8 and 1 is the recurring. Okay, you need to come up with another recurring decimal that has 8, 1 behind again. Okay, so since this one got two, two digits that are recurring, yes, you multiply it by another 100. So here will be 1000x times 581.81 recurring. Okay? You are just going to use this equation and this equation. Your goal, uh, remember, eliminate recurring decimal. That is the method that we are doing over here. 
Okay, so you're going to take equation 2 minus equation 1, which is 1000x minus 10x equals to 581.81 minus 5.81. Okay, you'll get here 990x equals to 576. You divide it, 576 divided by 990. Okay, just type in the calculator. You should get... 32 over 55. Okay, all these workings needs to be shown. You cannot write, should we write the answer? They'll give you zero marks for it. Okay, question 15. The number of trees in the forest is decreasing exponentially. This is the keyword. At a rate of 1.75% per year. 11 years ago, there were 980 trees. Calculate the number of trees in the forest now. When you see the word exponentially, we are going to use the same exact formula as compound interest formula. Okay, So your A is equal to P bracket 1 plus R over 100 to the power of T. Hmm. Okay, 1 plus or minus. Uh, in this case, will be minus uh, because decrease exponentially. So my P is... 980, my R is negative 1.75, my T is 11. Okay, we sub it inside here. So 980, 1 minus 1.75 over 100 to the power of 11. Okay, you don't have to type in the whole thing if you don't know how to do, just do the bracket first. Here will be 0.9825 power 11 equals to 807. When to use the T? Time. Okay. They give you years. Right? They will always give you a, a certain time frame. Right? T equals to 1 is 1 year. Okay, question 16. Uh, this one, knowing you've been asking me, I'll give you an example. Uh. <laughs> okay, volume of a cylinder is 1970 cm3. The height is 12.8 cm. Okay, hey, sorry, this is not the similarity. There's another question on it. Okay, calculate the radius of the cylinder. Whatever shapes that you can draw, sketch it out so that you can visualize it clearly. Okay, this is a cylinder. Okay, volume is 1970 cm3. The height is 12.8 cm. They want us to find what's the radius. Formula is pi r square height. Okay, so I'm just going to put pi r square height first. Pi r square, okay, which is what we want to find. Height is equals to 1970. Okay, go ahead and calculate for this one. 1970 divided by 12.8 pi square root. You don't have to follow like this. Okay, you want to do one, one at a time, also can. <coughs> Okay, this time we don't need to do plus minus square root because radius will always be a positive. So the final answer will be 7.00. Okay, write it as 7.00, not 7, uh, because this is an irrational number. Okay, you type in the calculator, it's not 997, right? It's 7.00 something, something, something. Okay, so your instruction from the front page is to Write it to three significant figure if it's not a whole number. Okay. 17. Rearrange to make M as subject. Okay, I'm going to cross multiply first. Rm equals to 2m minus 2k. Bring all the m to one side. Rm minus 2m equals to negative 2k. m is r minus 2 
equals negative 2k, then we divide the r minus 2. Okay, so here minus 2k r minus 2. Question 18. Y is inversely proportional to the cube root of x plus 5. Okay, let's convert this into an equation first. Inverse means 1 over cube root of x plus 5. Okay, this is a proportional type of question. Huh? So proportional varies. All these are the same type of question. How to convert this, the fish symbol, into an equation? You write k. Okay, y equals to k cube root x plus 5. Okay, first thing, we need to find k first. Okay, the first value is always to find k. They gave us x equals to 3, y equals to 12. Okay, we sub it in. So here will be 12 equals to k over cube root 3 plus 5. In the calculator, you get 2 here, therefore k is equal to 24. So y is equal to 24 over cube root x plus 5. Then now they say find y when x is equal to 22. Okay, so at x equals to 22, we sum it in y equals to 24 over cube root. 22 plus 5. Okay, 22 plus 5 is 27. You cube root 27, you'll get 3. So you get here 24 over 3, which is equal to 8. Okay, so far? Yeah, I think this paper is actually very easy. You should be scaring 100 marks for this 70 over 70. Okay, 19. Solve the equation. You must show all your working and give your answer correct to two decimal places. Okay, when you all do a quadratic equation or cubic equation, whatever, you want to do solving, use your calculator, find for the answer first. Okay, don't go and crack your head in exam. Uh, even though they say cannot use calculator, Use the calculator to find for the answer first. Okay, everyone, go to menu, equation slash func, polynomial, degree two. Time in, one, five, negative seven. Okay, they want it in decimal. So you write down the answer somewhere at the side first. X equals to 1.14, then X equals to negative 6.14. Okay, to two decimal place. <coughs> Whenever you get irrational number, uh, what you need to do? I see Brian, right? Okay, you have to use your quadratic formula. So you have to remember like this, uh, irrational solution. How do we decide? Uh, we use calculator check first. Irrational solution. So you need to use quadratic formula. Okay, the clue also sometimes is from this sentence here. They say correct to how many, whatever number of decimal place. So formula is negative b square root b square minus 4ac over 2a. You have to memorize this one. It's not given to you. Okay, sub it in. Negative b plus minus b square minus 4a c over 2a okay, 2 times 1 so negative 5 plus minus you get here 53 over 2 then you write your answer down okay, you have to show the working uh, even though you know that the calculator can give you the answer this is how you get the 4 marks Okay, question 20A, find x bracket x plus 2. Okay, this is just your basics of function. So f bracket x plus 2 will be 6 bracket x plus 2 minus 7. Okay, we just 
two weeks ago, we just went through the whole functions. Huh? So 6x plus 12 minus 7, 6x plus 5. Okay, inverse. Okay, inverse. Let y equals to f inverse x, fy is equals to x. Ken, Derek, Ken, you don't have to write down the formula. Okay, so here, 6y minus 7 equals to x. Okay, rearrange it, make y as a subject, x plus 7 over 6. Okay, so my f inverse x is x plus 7 over 6. Okay, find x when gx equals to f22. Okay, so gx is x to the power of negative 3. f22 is 6 times 22 minus 7. Okay, x to the power of negative 3 equals to 1, 2, 5. Okay, the negative 3, <clears throat> you inverse it, bring it to the other side, you become... 1, 2, 5, power negative 1 over 3. Okay, power 3 will become 1 over 3. Just type this in the calculator, you get 1 over 5. No need, no need. You already write the plus minus, already taken. Okay, but if you want to write, if you're not sure, you want to write, just write. Okay. In exam, it's okay. Right? Why not power 3? Uh? Because that's not how you do it. <clears throat> like that. X power negative 3 equals to 1, 2, 5. Okay, you want to take away the power 3, right? What you need to do? This one, you need to multiply by 1 over 3. Negative 3 times neg negative 1 over 3. This will become X to the power of 1, month. Okay, negative 3 times negative 1 over 3. Power 1. Why 1 over 3? Because indices, uh, you have to remember, cube, the opposite, okay. The opposite of square is what? When you bring square over to the other side, it becomes square root, right? Square root is 1 over 2. Same logic. Okay, it's the same logic. When you bring, when you got cube, you want to bring to the other side, it becomes cube root, right or not? It's because you want to make it to one. <coughs> yeah, yeah, indices. Okay, uh, so use that logic behind. Square becomes square root. You need to know also, uh, so let's say if you got three over two, you want to bring this the other side becomes two over three. Okay? You will just inverse the power. Inverse means the balik also. Okay, inverted. The top become bottom, bottom will become top. Okay, question 22. Simplify this equation. Okay, 21. Simplify this equation. Okay, so the numerator, you don't know how to factorize, use your calculator. Okay, this one just use calculator to calculate first. So your calculator will show you what? X equals to 3 over 2. X equals to negative 4. How do you write the factors out? Become 2X equals to 3. 2X minus 3. Okay, this one will become X plus 4. Okay, in exam, you can cheat your way through it, but you cheat it the smart way. Okay, do it the smart way. After your batch, then... Not so lucky already, la, okay? So you get here, 2x minus 3, x plus 4. The bottom one, we will use difference between two squares, okay? This one is a square minus b square. We will get a plus b, a minus b. Okay, your a is 2x plus 3. Uh, okay, right, minus first. 2x minus 3, 2x plus 3. 
Okay, minus 3, minus 3, cancel off. You will get x plus 4 over 2x plus 3. Okay, question 22. These are the first four terms of a sequence. Okay, the end term is written by this. Calculate the value of A and of B. Okay, this is a five mark question. All right. So when my N is equals to one, my value is what? My T1 is equals to 2.75. Okay, so I'm going to use this equation here. One cube plus A one square plus B times one equals to 2.75. If we simplify this equation, you should get A plus B equals to 2.5. Okay, you bring the one over four, bring it to the right-hand side. Then A and B, just leave it on the left-hand side. Okay, second term, N equals to two, my T2, is equals to six. Okay, so let's sub this in. Plus a times two square plus b times two equals to six. Okay, so sub sub it in. Open out the bracket. You get four a plus two b equals to four. Okay, divide it by 2 because I want to simplify it. You get 2a plus b equals to 2. Okay, so I got these two equations right now. a plus b equals to 2.5. 2a plus b equals to 2. Equation 1, equation 2. Okay, they have the same common b term. I will use elimination here. Elimination, I'll take equation 2. Minus equation one. Okay, I'll just rearrange again. Uh, 2a plus b equals to 2. a plus b equals to 2.5. Okay, I want to minus this entire thing. 2a minus a will become a. 2 minus 2.5, I'll get negative 0 0.5. Okay, this will be my answer. Okay, then I need to find b. I'm going to sub A into 1 or whichever equation that you like. It will become negative 0 0.5 plus B equals 2.5. B equals to Okay. Very fast, huh, this paper. I think this one you're close to eyes also can do. <laughs> I don't know why this one is so easy. Okay, question 23. A train travels between two stations. The distance between the stations is 220 km correct to the nearest kilometer. The speed of the train Use another color here. Oops. Speed of the train is 125 km per hour, correct to the nearest 5 km per hour. We want to find the upper bound for the time. Okay, upper bound for time. Then give your hours in times in hours and minutes. Okay, so we need to know what's the relationship between speed, distance, and time first, which is this triangle, right? Speed equals to distance over time. Okay, what we want to find? We want to find what is the time. Time is distance over speed. Okay, they want us to find the upper bound of this. Upper bound for time. So what is the combination? 
Okay, what's the combination? Uh, wait, uh, Darren, you say the negative one. Two times negative 0 0.5. Hold on, uh. Why two times negative zero point five? No, no, this is correct. Okay, upper bound. How can I get something divided by something? So I will get big divided by a small value, right? Okay, I want a very big value. I want to take something divided by something. I need to take big divided by small. Okay, so now I'm going to take find what is my D upper bound and S lower bound. Okay, upper bound for distance 220, they say to the nearest kilometer, right? So you plus 1 over 2. So you get 220.5 km. Okay, the speed lower bound, you get... 125, okay, they say correct to the nearest 5 km per hour. So lower bound, you need to minus, you take whatever the unit is, 5 minus 5 over 2. <clears throat> okay, so you get 122.5 km per hour. Okay. So now we put into the formula, uh, the time is equals to 220.5 divided by 122.5, which will get 1.8 hours. Okay, but do they want us to present it in hours? No, okay, they don't want. They want us to convert it to hours and minutes. So do your conversion. One hours is on 0 0.8 times 60 minutes. You get one hour and 48 minutes. Okay, please go and mark this paper. Write down your marks in the master tracker. Okay, anyone got 100 marks for this one? 70, uh, not 100. <laughs> Oh, wow, so many of you. Me, me. 56, 67. Okay, almost. Almost perfect score. Okay, some of you, I know y'all you do very fast, right? Okay, learn how to do a, um, like an exam like that. Okay, learn how to do like an exam so that y'all can start really seeing your marks right 60, 59, 50. Okay, you just go and record down all your marks. Okay, remember uh, your paper two, you need to score as high as you can. Paper four is the one that will pull down your marks. Okay, all right, I'll send this to y'all. Okay, and we shall end the recording here.